So here we are in the Beacon Bingo building, looking a bit tired. Uh, there's damp in the air. That's the first thing that strikes you when you come into the building. There's a smell of damp. And uh, that's because of leaks that have been going on uh, in the roof. And then there's quite a bit of mold that is, for example, in all of these chairs on the carpet and various other parts of the building. So we're going to, we're going to need to deal with that over time. I just want to show you uh, our first job that we're going to be working on, uh, and this is going to take quite some time to deal with, which is the these golden coloured tiles up here. I don't know if you can see those or not, but right along there, and then of course on the other side, uh, right along there as well. I'll zoom the camera in just ever so slightly. So all of those tiles are asbestos tiles. and. If I zoom the camera in a little bit here, for example, there, you can see that those tiles have been damaged. That means that this, that, that means that asbestos has been disturbed there at some point. I mean, it almost looks as if holes have been drilled um, into those tiles. And then if I take you over here a little bit, I mean, <laughs> this one here where my finger's trying to point at. Um, that's a considerable hole there. How that happened, who knows, but it needs to be dealt with because uh, the priority for us is to make sure that this is a safe space so that, so that when members of the public come in here, they're breathing a nice, fresh, healthy air. And so those tiles will all be removed and those tiles will all be removed. Uh, over there as well um, and that is for the safety of folks who come into the building. Also uh, just to point out as well that um, these are asbestos walls and if I zoom in a little bit here you can see my gosh lots of holes have been drilled into those walls and the same over there as well and again and ideally that should never have happened again we can only assume that possibly folks didn't really know um, that these were asbestos walls. But we are where we are. And uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is deal with the asbestos issue. That's number one priority. Keep it nice and safe for, for everybody. Gosh, look at that big massive hole there. Gotta deal with it and uh, we're gonna do that. It's gonna take a few months. Uh, and that's the challenge with a, a wonderful building like this, um, is that th there are things that will just take a little bit of time for us to deal with. So we've got to be patient, uh, but we are going to get there. Again, just to illustrate uh, the challenge in the building. So you can see there's a television up there, but look, um, look at the big hole. It's been drilled right through that. Uh, wall but that's an asbestos wall so again that really should not have happened and we can only assume that uh, when that was done it was not understood properly that that is an asbestos wall so we're going to have to deal with that this is the building from the back just again uh, on the asbestos issue there is a, a bag that we find upstairs uh, in one of the rooms and uh, that that bag is marked asbestos. We've had it checked and it is indeed asbestos in the bag, just discarded in a room. And it really is um, very, very surprising that um, asbestos would be discarded in that way. But there's the building right there. I'm just trying to get a little bit of a camera angle for you to see it. It's a wonderful building and it just needs a lot of TLC. It needs what it really hasn't had for quite some time. And of course, that's going to require investment. That's going to require help. But uh, we are going to get there and it's going to be worth it when we're there.